If you're looking to set up your home to run off the grid or survive a prolonged grid blackout, then you need to conserve energy wherever possible. Now, one way to do that is to use high efficiency DC powered appliances. In today's video, I'm gonna be introducing you to a hybrid DC and solar powered heat pump that could save you thousands on your next off-grid project. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're looking at a high efficiency DC and solar powered heat pump air conditioning unit. Now, why would I wanna use a DC powered air conditioner? Well, first of all, when you're approaching setting up your home to run off the grid uh, or to be able to survive a prolonged grid blackout, the first thing you wanna do is conserve your energy usage as much as possible, right? Instead of just throwing a bunch of solar and battery capacity at an inefficient home, the first step, it really is to reduce the energy usage profile of that home wherever possible. And so one way you can do that is to use higher efficiency appliances, but particularly DC powered appliances. So, so why DC powered as opposed to normal AC power? Well, internally, many of our home's appliances, they have motors and they have internal electronics that are actually all natively DC equipment. But of course our electric grid is wired for AC and really the, the, the AC convention is for more efficient transmission and distribution of that electricity. But once you plug an appliance into the wall, let's say the camera that I'm recording on right now uh, or your laptop or your television, internally all of those devices use direct current circuitry to operate. Now, those of you who've been following the channel for a while understand that Every time you have to convert electricity from DC to AC back to DC, you're, you're losing a little bit of energy in each one of those conversions. And so to have the most efficient operation, ideally you can keep the electricity in its native format with as few conversions as possible. Now, heat pumps and air conditioners are similar. And a lot of the motors that work internally to these appliances can run directly on DC power. So if you could deliver DC power directly from your solar panels or directly from a battery to a DC motor inside your heat pump, that heat pump is gonna consume less energy than if you had to invert the power to AC, then plug this into an AC power source and then internally it converts it back to DC. So if we can eliminate those extra two conversions and bring direct solar DC power to a DC motor, you're going to have more efficient operation of your heat pump, which means less energy consumption, which means you can use that energy in other parts of your home. Now, I actually had a chance to get a hands-on walkthrough of this hybrid DC solar powered air conditioning unit at last year's RE Plus conference when I had a chance to chat with the CEO of EG4, James Showalter. In fact, here, I'd like to share some of that interview with you right now. So we're, we're talking about electrification, right? And the idea here is if homeowners are gonna make this investment and in putting in a large capacity solar and storage system, they wanna be able to consume as much of that electricity directly as possible. And it might mean moving some of their home heating or water heating off of fossil fuels and onto renewable energy. So yeah. I understand you've got some solutions here in the, um, in the HVAC space. If you can kind of just walk me through, what is the EG4 compressor unit or the mini split, how does it work and how does it help people save money and self-consume more of their clean energy? So yeah, we started operating in this area about three years ago because we were focused on off-grid and frankly, uh, the number one thing we really care about if you're trying to get real home backup is that you have an efficient air conditioner. Like that's a really good way for us to not have to sell you as many batteries, you know, and you pay for it one way or the other. Um, so we moved in this space, uh, worked with some of the most experienced uh, hybrid air conditioner uh, builders in the world and uh, we also got a pre-charged quick connect lines. Actually, ours are pre-vacuum. So we're the only other um, non-AC uh, technician required install in the market. So uh, we do not have the need to pull a compressor pump or uh, use Freon or anything. It's pre-charged and it's uh, quick connect. So uh, the other thing that we did here with the hybrid units, which have really taken off, we have a one ton and a two ton unit. The standard efficiency is 22 sear. They work down to negative 20 Fahrenheit on the heat pump side. So heating in the winter is one of the biggest surges of expenses that homes are seeing. So we thought the two ton unit could be put in the center of a main area and really reduce 60, 70% of the bill that a home is seeing on the, the heat surge in a, like a December month where they have backup heat strips. Um, and what that turned into, yeah, it's a cheap DIY project 
people can buy the units and the solar panels for under three or four thousand dollars for a three thousand dollars for a two ton unit. And we even have a, a quick four four panel quick mount stand. But that's really taken off of our EPC guys this year. And the reason is because if there are restrictions on solar panel sizes and appliance connected solar is not grid tied solar. So this is something that uh, when we work with grid companies, uh, we've had questions come up, but we've been able to clear up those questions. And so a lot of EPCs, you always check with your grid company and if they're, if they're negative, we'll work with that grid company. Uh, but they're seeing, here's a way to hook up two, three, four kilowatts of solar that doesn't really count to my top line. And I can reduce the homeowner's power bill at the same time, which is saving them dollars per month on the bill, which makes my sales proposition look more appealing. You know, really when you're in the kitchen table selling systems, you're trying to say, I can cut the bill and it will only cost you this much. This really helps. And we have people that are ultimately saving on a two ton unit, they can cut their heating and cooling $80, $70 a month for cheaper than you can do with a solar system. And it's a way to put solar in where it's just a DC direct connected MPPT that achieves that. Okay, so let's break that down. For those that are not as familiar with what we're talking about, what, what we're essentially saying here is you take solar, add more solar to the roof, deliver it right to the compressor unit. I actually see there's, there's MC4, yeah, yeah, there's MC4 uh, you know, receptacles right here on the unit. So it's, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't count against an existing net metering agreement, right? Absolutely. This would be a direct solar powered air conditioning unit that would allow you to consume that, you know, consume yes. that, that, um, that electricity directly without having to deal with the power company at all. Yeah, and we have guys that don't even use our battery systems using this because of the air conditioner continues to operate in the daytime if there's a power outage. So they get uh, partially backed up air conditioning with a grid tie system if it's installed that way. So, you know, our, our position in the market is to just make solar more appealing. We think if some EPCs are in areas where they need to hit a value point, sometimes the right thing to do is to up the customer's efficiency and make it part of a solar install. Interesting. And are you seeing that many solar installers are able to take on the installation of these units as well? I know you said there's no special permits. It's much easier for us to train them. I think anybody, we're in one of the fastest changing times for the market ever. You've got to be ready to change if you're going to succeed. We're seeing so many installers that have to change. It's so much easier for us to train people on this than even on our storage system, which we've ramped up our ability to walk people through that and really be a partner for. But yes, the, they're, no one's born knowing how to do these, but it's super easy to learn. Yeah, and, and that's one of the things that we've been seeing as well. You know, we've been traveling around, meeting with a lot of installers, particularly here in California, meeting with a lot of installers. And what I'm seeing is a trend where a lot of the companies that have remained successful in this environment, because frankly, you, as you know, there have been a number of high profile failures among solar installers, right? So one of the things I've noticed is that the companies that are staying successful, they're staying smaller, regional, but they're also offering a diversity of services besides just solar, whether it's home electrification, HVAC, upgrade your water heater, um, uh, intelligent load control, install a generator while you're at it, you know, but being able to come to the table with more than just, let me put panels on your roof. I think this is, this is another solution here with, you're saying with minimal training, yeah. you've got another solution they can offer that will help save them money, help become more energy independent, and have a, a backed up HVAC solution even without having to buy batteries. If you're I'm exactly you right, Joe. That's, a, that's exactly the way people are looking at it. So thanks for, thanks for explaining it that way. Yes. Cool. So rough price points that folks can expect with this? Yeah, so $12.99 for a one ton and uh, $18.99 for a two ton. Super cost effective. And then uh, we, the one ton needs three to four solar panels in the 400 watt range. The two ton needs six to eight. So uh, we actually have uh, a UPS shippable four panel ground mount rack. And uh, a lot of our customers buy those if they're not putting panels on the roof to make it a quick install. Uh, one of the things that we want to do at EG4 is get everyone into solar. Uh, so we want HVAC companies to start selling this, even if they're not in solar. And we want electrician companies to start offering this. So we're a huge help to EPCs if they're looking for something like this in their strategy. But this could be the first time that an electrician gets into solar because they feel comfortable with this. And they know that they can tell the homeowner, I can save you $60, 70 $80 a month. Sure, sure. Well, again, folks, this is part of the trend that we're seeing. It's, it's not just solar now. It's solar, batteries, intelligent load control, and, and now evolving to whole home electrification. EG4 has got a number of solutions that are helping with that transition. So this has been a look at the new hybrid DC and solar powered air conditioner heat pump unit. Uh, again, it's going to allow you to achieve greater efficiency in operation of your heat pump, which will lower your overall energy consumption, meaning that you shouldn't have to purchase as many solar panels or batteries to round out that system. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, 
make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Um, also, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or even if you already have a quote and you just wanna get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and getting the best deal, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use the free online calculator to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.